Power Apps and Flow fans, April Lenham here. Today I want to show you a fun Power App that I created. It's the Magic 8-Ball App. As you can see, we have the Magic 8-Ball here and I can choose what I want to ask it. Maybe a standard yes, no question. Or maybe I want to know what song to sing for karaoke or where I should go eat lunch or dinner. So I'm going to choose what should I eat, Magic 8-Ball. Let's ask, and we shall receive. Chewies, that's great. I love Mexican food. All right, cool. Now I'm going out to karaoke. What, what should I sing, Magic 8-Ball? Bohemian Rhapsody. That, that's a good one, too. Love me some queen. All right, um, Magic 8-Ball. Am I going to be a millionaire? Awesome, without a doubt, that's what I like to hear. All right, so as you can see, pretty cool, pretty simple, fun app. Now let's take a look at the back end and see how this was made. Great, as you can see, just a one screen app. I have a label here asking, what do you want to ask the Magic 8 Ball? I have an image control and I uploaded an image of a Magic 8 Ball. I have a drop down control and I manually inputted some values like yes, no question, what song should I sing, where should I eat. And if you look over here, there's a hidden group called answer group. And in that group, I have a triangle because you know when the traditional magic eight ball, when you shake it, it, the answer shows up in the little triangle. I have a circle and that circle is covering the eight of the eight ball. And then I have the answer. So it's just a text input and the answer is going to write the response out onto there. And finally, um, I have the ask button. And that's kind of where all of the logic is stored. Um, as you can see, I'm sending a variable answer. And what I'm doing is all of the back ends pieces are done with a flow. So I have a flow running in the background that's looking for what type of question I'm asking and is going in and getting the appropriate list of items and selecting a random item. Um, so all I'm going to do is pass in the value of the dropdown that I selected into that flow and I'm outputting that answer into a variable called variable answer. And then I'm updating some context here for start timer. So I have a timer in the background. So you know when you shake the magic eight ball, there's a little bit of delay before the answer pops up. That's what I'm trying to get here. So I'm um, starting a timer with like a two second delay. So we have that delay effect. And um, I have another variable called visible and I'm setting that um, to false so that the answer group will show. And it's actually, so that's setting it to false. So when I click again, it should go away. It's getting set to true in the on timer end. So once the timer has finished, it's going to show that answer group. So that's how that's working. Great. So that, the, the power up itself is fairly simple. Most of the logic comes with the flow. So let's jump on over to flow. And as you can see, I have a magic eight ball flow that is a power apps triggered flow. So first thing I'm doing is initializing a variable called answer that's a string. This is where the answer is going to be stored. Next, I'm doing a switch statement. I'm switching on the dropdown value from power apps. And depending on that value, whether it's a yes, no question, a song or where you should eat, I'm calling the get list items in SharePoint to different lists. So the background, I just have SharePoint list for um, random eight ball questions or songs um, and what should I eat restaurants. So I'm calling that and then I'm setting a random variable. So this is where I'm getting, I'm using the compose action and I'm getting a random item from that get list items. And then I'm setting that answer variable to that output. So as you can see, not, not very complex. Just took me about 45 minutes really to put this all together, but I thought it was pretty cool and I wanted to show you guys something fun that you can do with Flow and Power Apps. If you enjoyed, um, please like, subscribe, and I'll keep making more.